The Sims is about creating characters, creating a setting, and their house and garden. It's about controlling their lives and watching a story unfold. The Sims is a game where you can create your own world, like create all the people and the places and play out your own stories. There's something for everybody in The Sims. You make characters you recognize, you put them in places you recognize, and you can recreate stories that have come from your own life and your own experiences. You can create anyone you can imagine, yourself, friends, family, even movie stars. They're goofy, they're arrogant, they're obnoxious, they're smart, they know the right thing to do at the right time, they do the wrong thing at the right time, or the wrong thing at the wrong time. I really like being able to create situations and stories with people that I know or remind me of people that I know and see what happens in their lives and see what plays out. Determine the path your sims take as they strive to fulfill their dreams. Their lives are completely in your hands. You create families, you can break them up, you can bring them back together, you can marry them off, or you can just burn down their house. In The Sims 2, the possibilities are endless. Choose to play in one of the many pre-built homes or create a unique setting. Maybe a student house cluttered with pizza boxes, or an idyllic family home with a gorgeous garden. You can create a suburban dream house or a wild bachelor pad, choosing everything from flooring to the furniture. Finish your masterpiece by adding trees and plants, or even a pond, to landscape the perfect garden. For me, like being able to construct a house that I like and like the way I like that it looks is, is really cool to me. Sims go through life in phases, including babies, toddlers, children, teens, adults, and even seniors. I like to play a single sim, moving into a new place, and I like to imagine they've just come to this new town, and it's all about finding them friends or finding them romance and kind of setting up their life. Sims have DNA, and babies inherit traits from each parent. Junior might have mom's eyes or dad's sloppy habits. When the offspring grow up, they in turn pass some of these genes onto their kids, too. Your Sims have dreams and aspirations. They can aspire to be popular, start a family, or acquire astounding riches. Will you subject your Sim to a difficult life plagued by fears, or will you help them achieve their dreams? It was like playing exactly what I wanted to do in real life, only I was too lazy to do it for real. When your sim experiences a life-changing event, like getting married or even being abducted by aliens, in-game cinematics and special effects bring these events vividly to life. I had a tendency to set my sims on fire for a while. Totally accidental, of course. Um. <laughs> the best part about The Sims is um, all the unexpected events that happen. Um, like, you could just be doing anything and then bees pop out and like start chasing you around a lot. Just like in real life, players can capture the joy of a toddler's birthday party or the blush of a first kiss, and not just with snapshots either. In addition to photos, you can also make videos to relive your Sims' memorable moments. It's got so many pieces that you can put together in different ways to create your own stories, to create your own houses, to create your own worlds. Really, a game for everyone.